is up guys, the YouTube Moon back in, and this time we're doing another real life video. Um, for some of those that don't move, uh, for some of those that don't move, for some of you that don't know, I have moved house now. And uh, I'm not going to do a whole flat tour, but I'm going to give you a room of, a tour of my, like, my man cave and my setup. Um, I think it's a, it'll be a nice video for you guys. Um, not sure I'm going to do it if I'm going to take the ring light off and like, give you the best like, focus. But yeah, let, let's get into it. So here is the entrance to my man cave, as you can see, you can see my desk, but I'm going to go into a bit more better of how I did it. Um, so here, in this corner, at the minute we have a massive hand solo cutout. Very nice, we have my drawers, these just have clothes in it, there's nothing spectacular in it. And then we have a Lego UCS Imperial shuttle on top of that. And a director Kren Krennic shuttle with also a Mandalorian battle pack in the in the background there. Um, this part's empty. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put there. I'm kind of done collecting Lego. This is kind of all I wanted. Um, maybe I'll put some like statues here or something. I'm not sure yet. Then over to this corner, which is my desk. Uh, ignore the iPad. Let's turn that off. Close it. It's also a nice iPad cover as well. Uh, originally, I want I want to get a laptop for here, so when I do streaming, uh, I'm going to set the streaming up on the, the microphone on this to come over here. But yeah, the microphone's down there if you can see it. Uh, yeah, those tables I'm keeping for now because of um, because I may need it for the VR. I don't like to get rid of stuff until I know I don't need it. Uh, you got the microphone camera there, the PlayStation camera, and the PlayStation for the PSVR controller. That's the PlayStation underneath this little uh, shelf razor. Headphones, AirPods. Here is a stand for a um, headphones and a controller. Uh, it has YouTube on the side, but I can't go that far with this for some reason. I'm going to have to plug it in somewhere else for the second part of the video. And back there is two motion controllers and my bipod. Now I'm sitting down on my chair. There's the two motion controllers back there with a the bipod. Then we're going to swing to this corner. Lovely little view. I'm not going to show you where I am. I left a Revan's lightsaber here. Uh, his lightsaber is down there. That's one of the black here. That's a really, really nice piece. And then we're going to start on these shelves. Down here is some gaming and TV show figures. I've only got four at the minute. Uh, I'm getting a couple more Call of Duty figures, and then uh, that shelf will be done for the meantime. Uh, there's a 12 inch Darth Vader there. Onto this shelf, this is cloned. As you can see, I've got the Hascon uh, Rex back there. Very nice piece. Um, yeah, uh, this keeps coming back into retail for some reason. I don't know why. And this is um, the back for these three here. So this is just the description. It, it's a holographic, as you can see. You can see the light bending off it. It's a holographic, it just looks nice. And then you've got the five phase one clones with Padme leading the attack from the Black Series. On to the next shelf, this is like a Mandalorian shelf. You've got the carbonized Mandalorian back there. Uh, you've got the normal Mandalorian and Beskar Mandalorian with the jetpack, I took the cape off because you this one's one of those things where you can have either one or the other, which is stupid. You've got Heavy Mando back there and Django Fett. Um, the only additions I'm looking to add to the shelf is the Return of the Jello Boba Fett when he comes out. But we just have to wait. Let me go up here. This is my six, you know, the original Empire Bounty Hunters shelf. You've got a Carbonized Boba Fett back there. You've got Bosk IG. Uh, Four Loam. Zuckus is back here. And Boba Fett, and I've just added Cad, Cad Bane on that shelf, which you know, seen it. He should have been in that original. He should have been in the original seven. But oh well. On to the next shelf. We have this little Director Krennic Funk Funko Pop. I'm a huge fan of Director Krennic. I don't know why. Uh, up top is the Hot Toys uh, Commander Cody. I've reviewed this. Go check it out. And then you got the Thrawn SDT set, which is a very nice set. Um, I highly recommend if you can get it for about, I think it's worth about 100 120 at the minute. So if you, if you see it in that price range, definitely worth picking up. 
Especially since if you have a spare clone and you're good at customising, that's a hollow helmet. Onto the top shelf here, got some special editions, um, some holographics. Uh, got a black series cup here. This is from the group that I'm in. I will leave. Uh, I can't leave links anymore for some reason, but uh, if you just search UK Black Series Sales and Collectors and Sales Group, you'll get you'll see this logo and that's the group. You can feel free to join. I also got a group coin there. Uh, we've got a Pal Toy Kenner Boba Fett, which was an SDC, Hondu, uh, Obi Wan and Darth Maul from the Phantom Menace the uh, 25th anniversary cards. Very nice. So these are these three here, are my favourite looking boxes. And then here, this is a oh. So you're wondering why this Commander Fox box is here? Well, when I get the 200 subs, that's going to be my giveaway. I just left it up there for now. Uh, here is the droids. You see, you got Cad Bane's droid, uh, BB, Dio, and C3 Bill. Just missing R2 D2. Um, I wanted to make these back of the walls a bit exciting, so I've added. Um, the Empire and the New Hope Agency, Prince Leia is the only one from a New Hope on that shelf at the minute. Uh, but you have Yoda, uh, Leia from Hoth, Lando, Han Solo, Luke on Dagobah, and Darth Vader. And then here's my clone setup. Cody is coming soon. Um, he's being released at Tom's video, video, which is on Monday, 6pm on Star Action Figures. Make sure you're there, grab yourself one. Um... Apparently he has a lot of stock, so don't be worried if you can't get on the site. Um, he will have more. I'm pretty sure they won't even go out. The way he's making it sound is like he's got like more than 5,000 or something of them. Um, but they will eventually sell out as Cody at the end of the day. So we've got all of them as set for Cody, like I said. Uh, and then I made room here for Bad Batch, which is coming soon. I think that's in March. Then here we've got some more. There's the other New Hope that I have, which is 3PO. We have... Um, Luke on Bespin, Chewbacca, Boba Fett, and then we have some TVCs at the back there. We have Anakin, uh, Obi Wan is there, Commander Wolf, and the retro Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett, the power toy looking one. Uh, let me remove this royal guard for you so you can see. You can see that, like the retro kind of one. Not 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 an official retro, unfortunately, but similar. And then here we have my. Royal Guard setup. Of course, Black Series are releasing a figure called Karnar Jax, I believe that's how you pronounce it, which is like uh, a leader of the Royal Guards. Uh, his I think he owns a battalion, and yeah, he looks sick. I'm not sure how I want to do it. If I want to put maybe Palpatine to the side and put him in front, or put like him here. But yeah, we'll figure that out as it comes out. It's not due out anytime soon, I don't believe. Then we've got this lovely Darth Vader figure from Empire Strikes Back. This was the Blue, this was in when they did new boxes. They also did the same figure up there. Um, but of course, I just like I'm a fan of the the old vintage cards. Then here we have my uh, Imperial Leaders shelf. Um, I'm just I just need Moff Gideon, which is pre-ordered. I'm not sure when that's coming. That should be apparently end of this month. And then um, Admiral Piet, which has evaded me a great many times. Down here, as you can see, I run out of the um, carded figures, so I just put an ARC battle pack of the, with Commander Fordo there, as you can see. This was this is cool, I'm glad I own this set. And then I just put like these fat fires just to give it a bit of colour on the back. And then what Jello we got here, we've got Kit, we've got Plo, Luke Skywalker on Hoff, Anakin Skywalker, very nice figure, highly recommend. Revan, uh, Janet, also a very nice figure, highly recommend. I think... My least favourite here is Revan or Ray or this Luke here. Um, Mace here, very nice. It, you know, he hasn't got the perfect face, but you could definitely tell it's Mace. And then Ahsoka, one of the one of the more better, easily one of my top ten favourite figures. And then you've got Ray, and then you got Luke and Yoda at the back there. Here we got a Knight of Ren, Kylo Ren of course. Uh, G General Grievous. Um, I call him GG all the time. That's why I was gonna say GG. Um, Darth Nilus, terrible figure. Don't recommend picking this guy up at all. Uh, Revan, Darth Revan. That's Jedi Knight Revan. I think I called him Darth Revan earlier. And Count Dooku. Okay, now down here, as you can see, just some boxes, just to give it the the wall at the back a little bit of color. And 
Also, use that little gap, it stops the stuff, that the little stuff, if it falls off, falling down. Uh, and then a vintage collection Boba Fett from Empire there. Uh, haven't found a, I haven't found a home for that yet. Uh, down there is a Republic gunship. Very nice set. I wish I owned this set as a kid. And then on top is just some um, 3.75 inch from the Black Series. On to the final shelf in my room. We've got the Heroes of Endor. These figures are great, and this Chewbacca is from uh, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, the possibly best looking Chewbacca that they've released to date. Highly, highly recommend all of these figures here. Great little setup. That Han Solo is one of my is also one of my favorite figures, and that Luke and Leia's all right. She's got a little bit of a weird face. I'm not sure if that's looking at it. it looks it looks okay. It's not bad. It just doesn't look the perfect face that I've seen. Uh, here is my Imperial Units shelf. Um, back there is all the First Order stuff. We've got the Mountain Trooper, uh, Commander Pry, Captain Phasma, and uh, Captain... I can't remember his name. I put it on screen. And then we've got a First Order Snow Trooper back there. You can just see him behind the custom that I got. Very awesome custom. It's like a Shadow Scout. Then we got three uh, sand troopers there. Very nice figures. I did. I was not expecting. I saw this for a bargain for thirty quid for all three. They they are real, believe it or not. And um, yeah, the just just the price and what the, this figure is amazing. I didn't think it'd be that good. Then you got the snow trooper there, and then the fr uh, the two from the Force Unleashed, the Imperial Commander and Shadow Stormtrooper. Very nice figures. And then, uh, the only problem with this one, I just wish it didn't have all the marks on it. It just seems unnecessary. Unnecessary weathering. And then the 40th Anniversary Stormtrooper. And then down there is just my VR. So there you have it, guys. That was my room, uh, my room tour. Um, I got some nice figures, as you guys can tell. Um, more of the expensive ones, like the clones, of course, because of Clone Wars Season 7. I'm um, sure Bad Batch would be the same, but hopefully... Uh, the UK retailers now are starting to learn from when something becomes popular, make sure Hasbro make a fuck, like make a lot of them. You know what I mean? Uh, like the Commander Cody. Thank God that Hasbro have released that so people can stop playing the ridiculous prices with an updated paint and all that. Um, my only complaint is that was the one opportunity they could have added a Commander Cody head, but what can you do? Um, yeah, so that's the room tour, guys. Um, there'll be more videos coming, more reviews. Uh, I still have more, I still have loads of reviews from the old flat, um, so you may see a different setup. Once those are gone, um, you'll notice from the Endor people that the setup, this setup will change. Um, planning to do the figures like with my face in them, if that makes sense, it will be a lot more nicer. Uh, also, plan to use this desk as well. Uh, but yeah, we'll figure that out as we go. Um, what other figures have I got left to review? Um, so Cody, I'll give that a review. And then the four Endor heroes. And then uh, Bad Batch. I think that's it. Oh yeah, and the Hoff Han and Hoff Luke. Uh, and then Bo Katan and Asad Ventress. Uh, that's, the only, that's the only views you'll notice that are different to the old ones. Um, but hopefully they'll be a lot more better. It's a lot more nicer looking flat. The old one felt like a just a place to stay, basically. Um, yeah. So anyways, please like... Please do subscribe, um, especially if you like Black Series, you like gaming, you like all stuff nerdy. And yeah, see you in the next video, guys. Bye.